YouTube channel. This is episode 12 of Unstoppable and today we are going to be talking about how to stay motivated. Motivation. Be the change you want to see. How important is motivation when it comes to accomplishing your goals, whether it's school, applying to jobs, work, your relationship, your marriage, your friendships, your fitness journey. How important is motivation? By now we all understand that to succeed in something, we have to stay motivated. So we start from here and then slowly we go down and down and down and down and the motivation level just decreases. But why is that? It's not because you're lazy, it's not because you're stupid, it's just the way our human mind works. There is a science behind the reasons why we cannot stay motivated. Our brain likes comfort. Our brain thrives to be comfortable. That's the reason why after a week or two of starting your new goal, you tend to resort back to your old habits because your brain is telling you, alert, alert, I am so uncomfortable with the situation. So even though consciously we're like, I want to lose this weight, I want to achieve my goal, I want to be able to go to the gym six days a week, I want to kill it in my diet. The reason we can't have problems going through with our goals is because our unconscious mind, our brain is saying, abort mission, abort missions, this is way too uncomfortable. Chemically speaking, our brain is wired to make us feel comfortable. That said, how do I stay motivated? Knowing all this, you know, there are still some days where I'm like, crap, like, I know I want to do this, but I don't want to do it, and I just get really lazy. It tends to happen, we're all human. Only because, you know, only because doctors know that smoking is bad for you doesn't mean that they don't smoke. So I want to just put it out there that there are days where I'm just so not motivated to do anything. And if you have a day or two of that, once in a while, that's okay. That's just being human. But if you have the day, if you have more of those days than your productive days, then that's something that you kind of have to step back and like reevaluate and really look within you if, if this is what you want to do. That said, how I stay motivated is pretty darn simple. Um, I actually, and I don't want to share it with you right now because I want to see how much of those goals I can actually accomplish. Not that I don't believe that I won't be able to accomplish these goals, but I just, I guess maybe in a couple of months, I'll tell you guys where I'm at or what my 2017 goals are. But what I like to do is every year, and I started this last year, but I was still not so good at it, you know, but I started um, for, I made a list and it's actually on my wall and I write and I wrote my goal list for 2017, like the things I'm going to accomplish. And after writing those main goals, I take a separate piece of paper and I write the reasons why I want to achieve those goals. And it can't be for like, because I want to. You know, you have to have more of a reason. Like, why is it that you want to lose weight? And it can't be, because I want to look good. I mean, that can be one of the reasons, but there has to be more, there has to be an in-depth reason to why you want to accomplish that certain goal that you want to accomplish. The next thing I do is I take a separate, another separate piece of paper and I write my goals down and I write how I'm planning on accomplishing these goals. You know, a lot of people tend to be very goal oriented and say I'm going to accomplish this, I'm going to accomplish that and yet a lot of people don't do it because one, lack of motivation, two, they don't have a plan. And something that I've learned is that you always have to have a plan and the plan has to be written out in detail. And after that, I write a goal for every single month. So we are in the month of April, so for April, 
I look at all those goals, all those goals that I want to accomplish by the end of 2017, and I pretty much break it down. Like on March, I'm gonna do this. April, I'm gonna do this. May, and so forth. Up right up until December. So I have a plan. So every morning I wake up, you know, I write either I do it the night before or I do it the day of, but I write my goal list. And my daily goal list is working, my daily goal list is working towards my March goals. And my March goals is working towards the goals that I have for 2017. So when I'm feeling, you know, unmotivated to do anything, all I have to do is open up my notebook, I have to go into my office and look at the list of goals I want to accomplish by the end of 2017 and I read the reasons to why I want to accomplish it and how I'm going to accomplish me, how I'm going to accomplish it, it motivates me. And that's one of the best ways to keep motivated, to constantly read your goals, the reasons to why you want to accomplish your goals and how you're going to accomplish your goals. Like I said, there's a lot of science that goes into motivation, being goal-driven. And I and that's the reason why I think psychology is so important and how people should understand more of psychology. And I think that's why it's so important to understand how your mind works. If you understand like chemically like why you're doing what you're doing or why you feel a certain way or why you don't feel motivated and honest to god starts with your neurons and it takes practice it really really does you know i like i said you know even though i have my degree in psychology and studying neuropsychology right now i still struggle with life you know and and with motivation um and it's okay so those are basically the ways how I stay motivated. I, like I always say, I have my goal list and I read it every single day. I read my March goals, like or now April, but my monthly goals and my 2017 goals every single day. And that keeps me on track, that keeps me motivated. Uh, but remember, neurons that wire together will fire together. The more you use it, the more it will become a habit, whether it's school, your career, relationships, friendships, you got it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell notification so you know what I post. And if you guys want to say anything else, please comment below and let me know. And I hope all of y'all have an unstoppable Saturday, Sunday, and the week to come. Bye, guys.